Hello guys. Last time on the Final Fantasy II Magic Only Challenge. Well, we were still preparing for uh, the first dungeon. And right now, the biggest the biggest problem we're facing is getting getting some MP ups. So the goal is to get at least 50 MP on everyone. Uh, what I am going to do in order to go into MP conservation mode is uh, have Squall and Renova with a spell which only costs with a level 1 spell essentially. That same luxury cannot be afforded to Zell because uh, he's going to be the DPS. So Zell's MP is going to be a premium. Um, I don't think I'll use the... I, I think even 50 MP won't be enough to get me through the dungeon. So so what I'm thinking is I'll use Minwoo's change spell uh, midway through the dungeon. Let's see if we can't uh, spend some time in this battle grinding since uh, it's not particularly lucrative in terms of uh, cash either. Oh, I forgot to teach the safe spell to my Renova. But that's okay. Right now, uh, for, for the time being, I'll be happy if it just stays at level 1. I don't want to inadvertently level it up. Just in case our preparation does take a bit longer than necessary, uh, then... I mean, at the very least, hopefully uh, we will enter. Uh, Semit cave today. <laughs> this has gone on far too long. I mean, it's really, it's really surprising to me that th these battles are so damn slow that a uh, half an hour just just whizzes by. And I'm trying to keep my episodes to about half an hour because uh, that that's that's. Even 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 half an hour, I'm stretching it a bit. Uh, that I'm un uninterrupted here. So one thing I do want to consider is buying the Esuna spell early in the game. Because right now, Squall, I mean, I could go the easy, I, I could, I could take the easy way out and replace it, replace his Cure spell with a fresh Cure at level 1. And uh, nobody got MP, god damn it. That's sad, but yeah, unfortunately that's what you can expect from these low level monsters. Definitely need an upgrade in the fauna. This doesn't help, but oh well, whatever. So, uh, so the plan right now is I'm heading to Bosk. Uh, I'm gonna sell off the elixir because I need 800 bucks to buy the Asuna spell, and I'll get uh, Squall started with uh, leveling up Asuna right away. That'll serve multiple purposes. Even though for the beginning portion of the game, I would prefer to, I would prefer Esuna to remain at low levels. I think, I think if I just get a head start right now, uh, it'll serve me later in the game. At least that's the plan. So we will see how it goes. Right now, right now, uh, what I'm planning for is to have Squall and Renova both have. Um, one level one spell for MP conservation during the dungeon. I didn't have to spend so much time in preparation when I was attempting uh, this challenge run on the PSP because uh, it, it was far more easier to gain MP over there. Because uh, it was a knock-on effect to the faster growths. When you can easily get your uh, spells all the way up to level 5, even, even a battle that just lasts 3 or 4 rounds uh, can give you sufficient MP ups uh, frequently enough 
to shoot your MP all the way up to almost 100 even. I will have to look at look at my uh, playthrough, but I I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, just by this time I would have had b before the first dungeon even I would have had over a hundred MP on on everyone. But yeah, we need to be a lot more uh, cure leveled up. Who's? So who got an MP up? Squall got an MP up. Unfortunately, the one who's most in need of an MP up isn't getting one. Come on, Cell. Someone's cure leveled up. I think it's uh, Renoa's. Oh, maybe it's Min Woo's. God damn it! I'll need to get him another copy. Actually, Kyoto is still fine. He's got plenty of MP. Not too worried. But yeah, let's uh, quickly go and grab uh, uh, the Asuna spell. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend a bit of time trying to get Zell's MP up. Uh, 50... Slightly over 50. Let's say 60. I don't think 50 is going to be enough. Might even consider multiple passes through the Summit Cave dungeon. Because uh, the benefit of that dungeon is that uh, we can we can run into large groups. So that'll help that'll help with the grind. But the problem is that it's a pretty long way back to uh, Salamant, the nearest town. So I'm a bit worried about that. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, since the uh, enemies on the world map are just not cutting it anymore, or maybe I'll I'll, I'll need to try out some enemies on that side of the world map. They are uh, not as prone to running away as these low-level goblins. God damn it! I thought I would be meeting up with a lot more green goblins. Would have liked some more HP on my back row character, but for now, it it will have to do. Just the way things go. Can't really tell whether I've been particularly unlucky with the encounters or... Uh, this is just the way it would. It would happen in uh, any normal playthrough of the NES version. But the NES version is just that much slower. Just that much slower than uh, the later remakes. Even the PlayStation, uh, even the PlayStation remake, where uh, growths, in fact, the growths in the PlayStation remake are even slower than on the NES version. But because of the memory cursor, I think it still would have been faster. Plus, faster animations as well. So, in terms of uh, real time taken, <laughs> battles would go much faster, even in the PlayStation version. But because we are playing the NES version, yeah, we have to sit through this pain. Hopefully, hopefully this will be this kind of this amount of grinding would be restricted to the beginning of the game, and I don't have to suffer through this on a regular basis. As do you, but who knows? And Zell once again did not gain MP. Oh God! What do I do with this kid? Pretty poor RNG, I must admit. Plus, I'm wasting so much money in uh, constantly recovering MP. Seriously, considering just using the anti spell. But I'm not going to do that for ethical reasons, and as I mentioned, uh, this is part and parcel of Final Fantasy II's randomness. I'm trying to grind the correct, quote unquote, correct way. Copper plate, I'm gonna hold on to that actually, uh, might come in handy with the boss. Wow, I'm just 100 bucks short. You know what, if I can, if I can get away with not having to sell the ether, 
I'll take that option. Although it would be slightly more uh, spending slightly more time, but uh, let, let's try and grind over here. I need a hundred bucks. Okay, these enemies will do. I don't think they'll run away, but it's only going to take four turns. Is four turns enough? Four turns should be enough if I'm spending eight MP. If I'm spending 8 MP out of 39 MP, is that going to be enough to give me a MP up? I don't think so. So I probably need fire at level 3 at least because uh, out on the world map here, I would consider it an achievement if I can drag the battle on for 4 turns. So that's that's one of the biggest issues with uh, grinding in Final Fantasy 2 is uh, you, you, hit, you hit some pretty hard caps. It is by design, to be honest. I mean, you can't just uh, spend an eternity grinding on the world map and uh, expect consistent growths like you would in a traditional experience-based system. But there's a lot of randomness as well, so uh, if, if I had gotten lucky, I'm quite certain I would have got uh, over 70 MP on Zell, no problems. But it's just the luck of the draw. Renault's HP is also uh, not growing as consistently as it was before because, uh, yeah, these enemies just not able to hit uh, too hard. Haven't run into too many soldiers either, surprisingly. Let's see if I can track the battle on for two more turns by multi-targeting a fire spell. That's a strategy we can use in the NES version. Probably gonna get uh, level three spells at this at this rate, to be honest. And uh, once I get level, once I get at least fire level three, MP grinding would be a lot easier because every turn I would be spending three MP. Then so, uh, Zell, finally, Zell gets an MP up. Holy crap! Forty nine MP. I will need at least one more MP up before attempting the dungeon. And Reno got a HP up as well. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I'm happy about that. And I got the requisite amount of money. So, let's go. So that was a five turn battle, right? Uh, how close are we to level three? 77, uh, still a ways to go. So I can buy the Asuna spell outright. Heal, it's called healed in this in this translation. I think I think I'll continue to switch between using the canonical trans translation and this translation. Uh shit. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. And I have not saved recently. Well, guess who is having to sell the ether? Oh my god, how stupid am I? Can't believe I did that, man! Whatever, whatever. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Jeez. God damn it. I wonder how far this will set me back. Might as well teach us say spell to Renova. Alright. So let's at least make an honest attempt at the dungeon. God, can't believe that happened! Ugh.
uh what's the mp situation 37 53 29 yeah so we can we can give it another shot if we if we get into a battle with a sufficiently large group this is not what i consider a sufficiently large group oops did not mean to run but hey if we run that's cool i don't mind that didn't want this battle anyway, but uh, okay. I guess I'm getting uh, some EXP towards the fire spell. I guess one more very important difference between the later remakes, as in the GBA and PSP, two goblins and two green goblins. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and give the green goblins a chance to hit my back. Uh, should not have used cure on him. Never mind. So I'll take out the goblins one by one and see what the green goblins do. Ideally they'll use a the bow attack on my back row characters. This is one of the quote unquote legitimate ways I would consider of uh, having my back row characters gain some HP at least. Otherwise, I'll have to wait a significantly long time to start encountering enemies who have multi-target spells. That's not until uh, Cash One. Yeah, that's not until Cash One. Nope. They did use the bow attack, but they used it on Renova. Idiots. Well. Uh, getting pretty bad RNG, at least as far as uh, my plan is, my plan goes. But welcome to Final Fantasy 2. That's the way it is. I know, I know, it's needless suffering. And if I'm lucky, I might even get an MP up. Hopefully on Zell. Did I not multi-target that? Never mind. Okay. Literally got literally nothing. Might have got a significant amount of money. The goblins are known for. Holy crap. Actually, let's let's take the opportunity. Yeah, let's let's take the opportunity here. Uh, in the ideal case scenario, if the hornets don't run away, I might yet get an MP up. And look at this. We are already 17 minutes into the video, and I have I haven't stepped foot in Summit Cave. God damn it, this is gonna take a really long time. Room down to 46 uh, HP. I think she can survive. She's not. She's not wearing any armor, is she? But I'm not particularly worried about Renault's HP right now. In fact, one thing I could do is bring Squall and Zell to the front row. No, 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 no. I, I can't do that because uh, I, I need to, I need to work on Renova's evade stat right from the beginning of the game. I cannot compromise on that, unfortunately. In fact, she might already be at level two or maybe even level three. Considering how much time I've been spent in uh, effectively just grinding. Yeah, I'll, I'll quickly check out her evade stat uh, after this fight. Desperately hoping that Zell gets an MP up. I just need one more MP up on him before I feel confident in attempting Summit Cave. Even then, he is definitely gonna run out midway through uh, the dungeon. And I'm going to have uh, men swap MP with him. Uh, 
But those are the shenanigans that are required. So far so good, the Hornets have not run away. Man, the last time I had this same formation, half of them ran away. Rendered all of my effort completely useless. Who knows, Renault might even survive this fight. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. I can see why people say uh, by the end of the game you would be sick of this battle battle thing. These battles take so long. Especially when you're using magic. Yeah, I think I think uh, that that's playing a part as well. The fact that we're using magic not only not only is it taking me uh, longer to input everybody's command instead of just keeping the A button pressed. It also takes uh, a while for the animation to play out for the magic instead of just uh, especially when it's multi-target. Holy crap, yeah. Alright, final. Uh, I hope he doesn't run. I hope he doesn't. Okay, trapped. After all this work, if he had ran, that would have capped out. That would have capped out my day today. Alright, we better get some MP ops. I'm just worried about Zell. Come on, Zell. MP up. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. So how much MP does he have right now? He's got 60. Nice. Pretty good. Oh, I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that in the remakes, you have to go up. But in this version, you start from the north side. Um, do I need to buy anything? 163 gil and I've got 500. Nice. I think, I think that goblin encounter must have given me a lot of cash. 500 gil already. Alright, so finally, the moment we've been waiting for, let's make the journey to Summit Cave, let's go into MP Conservation Mode. Which means we're gonna try and kill everything as quickly as possible. And uh, the ones who are not using Black Magic will be using level 1 spells. I think I'll need 2 turns for this. Yeah, I can't multi-target this. Ooh, new colors. Thank god I didn't run into a large group of green goblins even before I entered the cave. Otherwise I definitely would have gone back and healed. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's see how close my estimate uh, is. That it's going to be 15 to 20 battles. Oh come on, the same encounter again. Maybe I should rearrange my spells so that I don't have to menu so much on Squall and Renova. Since it's not not exactly as if I have a huge list of spells to choose from.
Okay. So each battle is costing me at least 4 MP. Fire leveled up! Oh! Level 3 fire. So the great thing about level 3 fire now is I can wipe out swaths of green goblins. But unfortunately in cases like this it's going to cost me 6 MP. So that's a trade-off. But I will, I will actually happily take that trade-off. Yeah, not gonna lie. So okay, this 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 kind of a fight is is going to cost me six MP on Zell. Not optimal, but uh, as we'll see once we get into the dungeon, when I'm faced with a whole bunch of green goblins, I can just wipe them out with one fire three. Now that I think about it, those green goblins are frequently accompanied by a soldier, so that fight is still going to cost me six MP. Oh well, never mind. I guess uh, the only redeeming factor is instead of spending three turns, it'll, it'll I'll uh, I'll only be spending two turns. That's got to count for something. Damn, I should have killed the queen bee first. Hopefully, she doesn't poison me. One of the biggest challenge uh, uh, here is going to be turn order or lack of turn order because because. I don't have direct control over my evasion. And evasion is what determines turn order. So if I get agility ups every now and then, I would take that as a godsend. But yeah, I, I don't expect to gain any agility at all throughout the game. I will save on slot 2 though. And uh, well, as promised, at least we can enter the dungeon. Although I am already out of time, maybe we'll go to the first floor and uh, just check out what enemies there are. Regarding treasure, huh? Let me skip all the damn treasure and only pick up exactly what I require. I'm gonna take the shortest path. Yeah, okay. So this is like an ideal uh, fight for Fire Three. There we go, gonna be wiped out. The AoE animation is, yeah, it's the slowest part of this game. No wonder, no wonder that each battle takes so long. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna make a beeline for the boss. Uh, yeah, because, because I'm really low on resources and it's not as if the treasure is anything to write home about. I keep forgetting to switch the spell order so that I don't have to constantly click right for uh, Squall and Renova. I've noticed that uh, I face this problem a lot. I decide something at the start of each battle, but the battles are so damn long that by the time I get to the end of the fight, I've already forgotten what I'm supposed to be doing. So let's see if I can remember this time, at least the battle was uh, relatively short. Let's switch the spell orders. Wow, his cure is almost at level 3. That'll help in grinding later on. Oh, Renova's cure is already level 3? What? How did that happen? Eh, uh, whatever. I don't care. So on the first floor... Uh, the treasure chest on... Ah, oh, this is the encounter I was talking about. No ambush? Okay. So first turn I can wipe out all the green goblins and second turn I can uh, take care of the sergeant. So this would normally have taken 3 turns with fire 2, it would take 2 turns but the MP cost would be the same so uh, as HC Bailey says better than a sharp stick in the eye I suppose and there we go we are getting some hits on the back row with the bow attack. It's still not enough damage, but uh, let's see, let's see if either Squall or Zell get a HP up. Unfortunately, Zell has been losing quite a bit of vitality. 
without gaining HP. So whatever HP he gains is gonna be a pittance. But we'll see how things turn out. But yeah, on the first floor, a uh, couple treasures. I think it just contains a hundred bucks. I think one treasure just contains ten bucks, so waste of time. And on this floor, there's just a treasure with a potion and an uh, eye drop or an antidote, I forget. This is just another potion is on the way, so why not? I swear, I'm definitely not gonna pick up the one guild chest, okay? Looks like, looks like nobody got a HP up last fight. Reap? Damn, I need to stop uh, casting Cure on Squall. Maybe that's why he didn't gain a HP last time. Oh yeah, yeah, hit Menu, son of a bitch! Really bad luck, but I guess in a way that's good because it's gonna make things uh, more challenging. If I can get through this dungeon without Squall or Zell dying, I'll consider that an accomplishment given that uh, they only have 4 HP. And once again, I used Cure on Squall. Ugh. Use it on Minwoo. Yo, 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 what's up with the uh, slowdown? Zell got a vitality up and that's it. Well, better than nothing, better than nothing. I'll, I'll take that to be honest. Uh, actually, I'll use someone else's cure spell. These guys have plenty of MP to be honest. We're now at 100 HP. Should I heal her up? Ah, uh, YOLO. In any case, at the end of this floor, I'm gonna call it for this episode. So I will see you guys next time.